Hi everyone, Holly from Diamond Painting Addict. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, then hello, uh, my name is Holly. Um, my channel is basically dedicated to diamond painting. Um, I do setups, I do unboxings, I do reviews, I do time lapses. And today I am back with a brand new video for a brand new time lapse. This is a 60 by 60 square drill um the canvas is from row diamonds and as you can see from the thumbnail that is a stunning picture of a lion's head lions are my favorite um big animal um i just love all big cats so i am back with another video which is really exciting and um, the tools i will be using are um this tray here i much prefer to have a much bigger tray and i will link where i got this uh, on Amazon. Um, I'm using just the normal pens that you get from your diamond painting kits. Reason being is I have used quite a few different ones. Uh, the pick me up pen was one of them <clears throat> and I bought a couple others but I just didn't really get on with them and I just find I keep going back to these pens. They're so easy to use. There's nothing wrong with them. I do like using the, the three pick up as well. Um, tweezers, generally that's for picking out uh, misplaced drills, um, my wax that I need for my pen. Um, I will always use a light pad, I find that light pads just make my life so much easier. And this storage system, this is a storage system from Harbour Freight um, and I will link where I got these from as well, which will only really be any good for US um, based people only because they don't ship internationally and the reason I like these is because they are really they're just so easy to use and very versatile and if you drop them then um, because they've got quite a good security system with regards to the click the drills don't go everywhere and I just find they're brilliant plus because of the size you can get quite a few drills in here I think I can get like 3,000 drills um, which is fantastic. So when you're setting up, it means that you don't have to have like a million container boxes. Um, so that's what I'm using for my containers. So without further ado, I'm just going to get stuck into this painting. I didn't want to do a, a massive introduction. I just wanted to go through what I was using and, um, and what I was doing. So, um, I hope you enjoy it and I will see you in a second. I am so excited to be doing this diamond painting. Lions are one of my favourite big cats with tigers and I just love close up pictures of their heads. So I'm going to really, really enjoy doing this picture.
This diamond painting is actually really nice to do. The drills are lovely, the canvas is lovely. There's no popping drills or anything like that. It's just a really, really nice canvas, so I'm pretty happy with this. So um, hopefully uh, the rest of the canvas will be exactly the same. It's quite interesting to find out how many um, diamond paintings people have uh, on the go. So how many whips do you guys currently have and be truthful. So I have currently got about um, six on the go, um, but a few that I have started but I'm not actively doing. Um, so the ones that I'm actually actively doing are Alice in Wonderland. I have a time lapse video on that painting. I'm also doing, that's a 60 by 90. I'm also doing a yellow rose, which is also 60 by 90. That's also a time lapse video. So then I've got this one as well, which is a 60 by 60 and is also a time lapse video. And I've got a, a set of three peacocks. So I've done one and I'm on the second one at the moment. It's a round diamond and that's 80 by 60, 60 by 80, I believe. Um, and then I have like a really big 90 by 110 piece that I'm doing for my bedroom, um, which is absolutely stunning. It's pink peonies with some books and it's very kind of um, French, um, I don't know what you'd call it, um, chic I guess. Really beautiful colour, pinks and creams and it's just stunning. So I will show you a picture of that when it's done. And then for my guest room, I'm working on a purple flower. So those three, I'm not actually doing any time lapse videos for, but they're kind of being done in the background whilst I'm trying to do all the time lapse videos for the others. But you know, I make my make time for my diamond painting, and I enjoy doing it, and I enjoy doing videos. So um, that's me. And then. I have a few that I've started as I said before, um, but I haven't quite kind of got into an active mode. Um, so one is a home sweet home, it's a five panel uh, diamond painting, square drill, it's quite large and it's really beautiful, it's got lots of different colour greys in it and I, I love grey. And then the other one is a beautiful multicolour painting with lots and lots and lots of different colours and it's absolutely stunning and that's going in my office. Um, or crawfish, should I say, because I love crafting and it's going to be a crafts stroke office room. And then I've got a 60 by 80 square drill um, diamond painting of a huge elephant. So they're the three that I'm kind of put in the background and not really working on at the moment until I've got some of these other whips out of the way. So how many have you got actually? Be truthful, be truthful to yourself. How many whips have you guys got on the go? It's so difficult, isn't it? When you get a new painting through, you just wanna start it straight away. Anyway, let me know.
this diamond painting is actually really nice to do. The drills are lovely, the canvas is lovely, there's no popping drills or anything like that. It's just a really, really nice canvas, so I'm pretty happy with this. So um, hopefully uh, the rest of the canvas will be exactly the same. So we're just coming to the end of this video, if you've enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell and you will be notified as soon as new videos go up. I'm going to try and get my videos up on a weekly basis, especially for Alice in Wonderland and um, The Lion. The yellow rose will kind of intermittently be sort of put in there on um, the times that you know I decide to have a bit of a change with my diamond paintings. But if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I always come back to people but I hope you've enjoyed it and um, I look forward to seeing you soon guys thanks bye